Um, it, it hurts me to say this, but I'm broke. Yeah, I'm broke. Well, technically, I have $250 in the bank. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Reyes, how did you spend $3,000 so fast? Well, you're about to find out. And let me start off where I left off last time. After I saved the $3,000. You guys remember, my main goals were to get an apartment and get my equipment. I went to different places. I made some phone calls. And I finally got accepted to an apartment. Two bedrooms. Sit seventy five for rent. Sit seventy five for deposit. That leaves me one thousand six hundred and fifty, minus three hundred for my equipment, minus two hundred dollars for my website. And well, you gotta count food, gas, and toilet paper for August and September. I have a lot of things going on: my day job, my side business, doing YouTube videos, being with my family, and I'm a soccer coach. But everything right now is going good. I could handle it, you know. And then bad things happen. I haven't had this many bad things happen to me in a long time. First of all, when I was on my way to picking up my girl and the kids, my car overheated. I was stranded. I tried turning it on. sister picked me up, I got a tow, and I just left it at home. Is my car drivable? I don't know, but I have no transportation right now. Secondly, I was feeling sick, so I called into work. And now I'll be honest, I, I was sick, but I wasn't dying. So I had to put on my acting face. I called in and said, <clears throat> hey, um, I'm sorry, but I won't be able to go to work today. I'm just sick. And you know what my manager said? She said, Reyes, if you don't show up at four, you're done. <sighs> yeah, she said that. I've had a lot of jobs and I learned from experience. If a job doesn't respect you and understand you, you don't want to work there. I didn't show up, no car, no job, but hey, at least I got my business. <sighs> Until my laptop messed up. <laughs> In the middle of the night, one of the kids was spraying raid on my laptop. I mean, he didn't know any better. So we cleaned it, and then it was still working. And then I closed it. In the morning, it wouldn't turn on. After I opened it from the bottom, everything was wet. And I have all my business, all my programs on that laptop. I got no car, no job, and no business. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do?